welcome back to my channel. For today, what I wanted to do was take you through a full home gym tour. A lot of this stuff you can get online. I know a lot of us need to work out at home right now. We have no other choice. So I'm gonna show you how I've been doing it, what works for me. Like I said, a lot of the stuff is available online right now and you can have it delivered and get your fitness on from home. I'm gonna show you guys all of my tips and tricks, all of the tools that I use, all my favorite things right now. So if that's something you guys wanna see, then just keep watching. Welcome to our gym. So this is our basement. We have a walkout basement that goes into a screened in porch outside. So it's kind of nice to be able to look outside while we're doing our workouts. This has always been a goal of ours to have a home gym. It's literally what we do for a living to work out, to coach people. So it made sense, but just please know that we didn't start with this. We had a teeny tiny condo. Once upon a time we used to work out in our living room. We would have to move our living room coffee table, slide it under, it was on wheels. We would slide it under the dining room table so we could work out. This has been a dream for a long time. So I wanna share all of the things, but the way that we've always worked out and even how we used to work out in our condo, this is the main thing that we use. We always, always have the TV. That's why there's such a big, massive space in the middle with a huge mirror back there. I'll share the mat, I'll share everything with you guys. So I keep a little tray down here with our TV stuff and I use Beachbody On Demand. So there's a ton of workout programs on there. I'm doing the boxing program right now. That's what I coach people through. It's literally what I do for a living. That's number one, is to have some sort of like an iPad, TV, computer, you can use your cell phone. Whenever we're traveling, that's what we use. So all of our equipment that we have, some of the programs are equipment lists. Some of them require weights and whatnot. So we've got these little cute like hook things, these little climbing guys that are actually hooks. So they hold like jump ropes and resistance bands. So on this side, I've got a little yellow resistance band and then this console down here has all of our old workout DVDs, which before everything was digital, we had workout DVDs. So just to be nostalgic, I kept everything. We have a little DVD player down there and then I've got the Apple TV. I also have a Sonos, which plays throughout the house. So I've got the Sonos sound bar and that way we can kind of select like, we have gym and then we have gym rear. So I can play the workout through the front TV and I can play my music through the back TV, which is kind of cool. I've got all my shoes down here, some extra cycling shoes. These are my favorites right now. These are my boxing shoes, love them. And then these are the ones that I always wear for cardio. So I've got some Adidas, some Nike. And then in here, I've got some meal prep containers that I'm sending to some girls in my boot camp, And then I've got little pansy weights, <laughs> oh, my little pansy weights for when I do my bar program. So this console is like very industrial, very cute. It's perfect. I have the speakers on here. So I have a portable Sonos player that usually goes in the garage. This sucker always stays here. This is a Marley. It's called a bag of, bag of rhythm, something like that. I'll link it for you guys. It's awesome. It freaking cranks. And the reason why I use this is I connect it to my bike. So before we move on to bike, I've got a little stepper that I kind of keep down here. And that's for one of the cardio programs on On Demand. It's like a 20 minute stepping aerobics, but it's like taken up a notch by the same guy that did Insanity. So it's really freaking nuts. 20 minutes, <laughs> it kills you. So back here, I have my Peloton bike. Um, pretty straightforward. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I use it pretty much every day as a warm up. One tip that I can give you if you have a bike, you can get one of these cool things on Amazon to hold your phone. So if you want to online shop or hang out, I, I honestly answer YouTube comments whenever I'm on here. I do a 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes 20 minute workout warm up. So it's really not that intense. And I just talk to you guys while I'm doing it. Then back here, I just reorganized all of this, by the way. So if you guys saw my garage clean and organized with me, I did the gym too and everything got moved around. I put the water cooler here. So we got this water cooler from Costco. This door, we barely use it. We use the other door. So I figured like, why not just push everything up against here? I can be outside, kind of half outside if I want to. I can half open the door whenever it gets warm. We have some foxes living in the backyard. It's so much more pleasant. So I've got a rebounder back here. I always get questions about the artwork. So I've got Mickey and then I have Papa Smurf over there. So he's like a jacked up Mickey. It's by a brand called Super Fresh. They had done artwork for a while. They mostly do apparel, but it was very, it was very Angie and Andre. Under the bike, I have my mat. I forgot to mention this. Yeah, I keep my shoes attached to the bike. It's too much work to detach them. So I do that. 
Um, and then this big rig that we have is called a cross box. Let's let Carl outside. This is literally the game that we play every single day. The inside outside game. Okay, go ahead, go see. So this big rig that we have, I love the, the yellow monkey bars. I really loved the black and yellow kind of theme. So we went with that for the entire gym. So it's a three piece cross box set. It's fully customizable. You can do this with many companies. The company we use is Northern Lights. And basically you kind of rig it so that you have, you can have your pull up bars in the front. So that's a pull up bar up there. And then you can have, I was just really obsessed with getting the monkey bars. So we've got the monkey bars. So this is a chest press section. And then this is like the squatting section. So both benches roll out. So if Andre and I both want to be doing a workout at the same time, we can. So this attachment's like a stationary attachment. You can hook your legs in, but it removes. So the difference with this one is this one actually lifts up and down so you can do your leg curls and whatnot. And on this thing, you put a plate of your choice. So we keep all the plates on the sides of the rig. So they're all stored in there. We have like the yellow Olympic ones just so they match. And then we've got some regular ones and then the rest of them are over here. So we just store them on the side. So it's, it's very well organized. The yellow things that you see, those are the safety guards. So you can drop your, your bar on there if you have to. So we have it for the squat rack and then for the chest press area. In the middle is really like core and abs and just accessories. So I hung these ab straps. You just have to take this squat bar off if you wanna use it. And then I have, and you can, you can hook anything in there. You could hook rings, you could hook a TRX. We have a TRX, we have rings. I just swapped it out for the ab straps. And then down there, I've got a battle rope and I just put the ab mat, like our core mat that we used under there. So I just organized everything. The other thing that I didn't talk about yet, obviously there's chin up bars on all ends. Back here, I've actually been using that thing for my bar program. So I did like a ballet dance bar program and I needed a bar, something stable to be able to hold on to. The little scratching noise you can hear is Carl already wanted to come back inside. Hi. Carl's going to boot camp soon. He doesn't know it yet. So this is actually a tricep dip machine. It's hella hard. I don't really use it for that. I use it for bar. So it's a perfect like stabilizer, it doesn't move. And I, what I'll do is I'll grab it from back there and pin it to the front. So it's super handy. So between like the benches and some of the rigs you can actually get off of Amazon. So very helpful. You can see Papa Smurf back there. So in this corner, we've got our heavy bag, which is filled with lots and lots of water at first. And then we just switched it to sand because the water just kept going everywhere and kept galoshing all over the place. We actually have a new heavy bag coming in. We are donating this one and we are hanging a heavy bag from, I'm pretty sure this is where we reinforce the ceiling. So we're going to hang it right from the middle. We got this thing online called a silencer, Amazon, and we have a beautiful yellow and black heavy bag coming because I've now gotten into boxing and I can hang. And I also have adorable pink gloves coming too, which I'm very excited about. So this is gonna get wheeled out, pushed out. And then back here, I just did this. I added all of this storage. So I have this little box here on wheels. It's actually for laundry. It says laundry on the opposite side of it. I bought it in a store and wasn't paying attention. So we had to hide the, we had to hide the signage. So in here, I keep my MMA gloves for my boxing program. And I've got some weighted balls in here. I have a bunch of resistance bands, peach bands down there. And then our two yoga mats for when we do yoga under a night and then our foam rollers. And then in here, these are storage as well. So I've got sandbags in there, resistance bands, um, ankle weights, stuff like that, like all the heavy stuff. And then in here I have all of the bands, more gloves, any core training, um, ab rollers, just a, just a lot of resistance bands. And you can see along this whole back wall is all mirrors, which is a hell of a thing to clean, but it makes all the difference, especially right now, the way that I'm doing the boxing program, I watch it in the mirror through the TV so I can mirror myself because I'm not self paw like my husband. So it's kind of hard to figure out at first. So that's what I've been doing crazy for core. And then in terms of weights, we didn't put a plug on this wall when we built this house. So we can't, I was gonna have the bike here, I can't. So all the weights went here, which I thought was super perfect. This stone wall matches the stone wall throughout the house that goes all the way up the stairs. You can kind of see it back there, except we put all these little climbers 
my dad installed them for me because I had no idea how to do it. He's like, Angie, honestly, you're gonna crack your stone, but he, he figured it out, he did it. He bought me the attachments to hang the, the hanger, the climbing men from, and we kind of DIY'd a project here. I think it looks really freaking cool. I love it. So the other thing that I just did, I we had this little weight, I think you call it like a weight tree or a dumbbell tree, and it held the 10, 12s, and the 15s, and I kept getting my little fingers stuck in it. So what I did is I got rid of that. We donated that and I moved the power blocks over here. So this is something like these are amazing. If you have limited space and you don't have a full weight rack, we've had these for seven years. We had these in our condo and we just had, we didn't even have the stand. We just had the two dumbbells and then these are little extra weights that you can put in the handles. So this sucker goes all the way from 2.5 empty handles, five pounds, one adder. So it goes from 2.5 so if you just put one of these in an empty thing, 2.5, five pounds, all the way up to 90 friggin' pounds. So you just follow the color codes on the side here. It's very convenient if you don't have room for this. I always wanted to be able to have a dumbbell rack though, so I could grab and go, because the swap out process can get kind of long with those. The other thing I really wanted was kettlebells. So this is what I did. I moved the little weights on here and then I moved the two biggest weights to the bottom just so it was cleaner and I could have all the dumbbells together instead of some of them on the side like they used to be. So if you saw the old gym tour, you'll know what I'm talking about. Then we have these beauties. These kettlebells are by Onnit. They have, you guys, we need this for the Disney house. They have Darth Vader, Stormtroopers, I think Bubba Fett. How cool. I feel like we need that. So these are like the, they're called Gorilla Pods. He's such a camera hog. What are you doing? Can I ask you what you're doing? You want to be a part of this. So basically four different weights. That big guy I think is like 90 pounds. I barely use that one. I use the three first ones, but I, I do use them a lot. They're awesome. Um, great quality, love it. So they're by Onnit. What else can I share with you? The mirror, oh, the jump mat. We just, just, so there's a couple things that have changed. Like if you didn't see, if you saw my last tour and you, you haven't seen these things yet, unless you're following on stories. So this big jump mat that we have down the middle is by, I think it's by Gorilla Mats. I will link it. It's from Amazon. Love it. The other thing I have back there is a rebounder. I don't know if I mentioned that. And then another um, barbell, but that barbell back there, like on the floor is not an Olympic weight barbell. So it's easier for me to use it. It's actually by Les Mills. Les Mills and Beachbody collab from back in the day. And I love it. I use that one a lot. Another thing that you guys always ask about, and it's not quite fitness equipment, but it kind of is, is my watch. I love this watch. I feel like I need to do like an IGTV or something. Cause I, listen, I don't want the techies to come for me. I want to do a comparison between an Apple watch, a Fitbit and this baby. Cause I friggin' love this thing. I'll link it for you guys. This one's my favorite. It manages, it doesn't manage, you have to manage, but it tracks your stress. It tracks your oxygen levels. It's incredible. I love it. So I'll link this for you guys down below, but I would love to do an IGTV just comparing them all because one, this one's way prettier and it's just, I feel way more accurate. So I just want to show you guys the space that we now have to move around. So let's go like from all, Carl, are you being serious right now? For real? What's your deal? We have so much more room for activities. We have so much more room to move around now. And I think, having that heavy bag right in the middle. So that should be delivered later this week. I'm very, very excited to get that in and to be able to practice that and to be able to do more core work, but I'm amped. I will leave the details for as many of these things down below. I will link everything on my like to know it. I will also link my boot camp down below. If you're looking for something to do right now and you don't know what to do for workouts, I've got you. Even if you just want to chat and ask questions, I'm always here. I'm the one that answers my own DMS. I'm a real, I'm a real human. Like I said, I will link every single thing down below, even like the bands that I use and the on the go stuff. So if you don't want to spend a ton of money, I've got you. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I thoroughly enjoyed hanging out. I love doing the little tours of all the things, especially when things are clean and organized, which I just did. So I love you guys. I will see you next time. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed it, subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos and hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye dudes.